Good day everybody! For today's lesson, we'll have the word problems involving algebraic expression. For number one, suppose you have a 120 cm stick and you cut 50 cm from it. So I have here the stick. The total length is 120 cm. And I cut 50 centimeters from it. First question, what is the remaining length of the stick? To find out the remaining length of the stick, you have to subtract 50 centimeters from 120 centimeters. And the difference here is 70 from here until this end measures 70 centimeters. For letter B, what operation do you use? We use here subtraction. For letter C, how will you represent the length of the remaining length of the stick? So we we'll represent this by 120 centimeter minus x where x is 50 centimeters. Number two, what algebraic expression represents the sum of the three consecutive integers? So we left x as the first integer. x plus 1 as the second integer and then x plus 2 be the third integer so let us now find out the sum so we will just add x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 the first thing to do is to add the like term so we have to add x x and x that will give you 3x. Next, adding 1 and 2 will give you 3. So our answer here, the sum of the three consecutive integers is 3x plus 3. Number 3, let x be the novel's present in 10 years, novel age is 5 times her age 5 years ago. So we represent here x as novel's present age. For letter A, write the algebraic expression of her age in 10 years. Since we have here x, we will just add 10. So our answer here is x plus 10. x represents the present age of novel. In 10 years meaning you have to add 10. Letter B. What is her age 5 years ago? So I have here the 2 ago which means you have to subtract so we have to subtract 5 from the present age x so our answer for letter b is x minus 5 for letter c what is the numerical equation of her age now so as we all know Based on the given, in 10 years, novel's age is 5 times her age 5 years ago. So we have here 5 multiplied by her age 5 years ago. So we have x minus 5. Again, in 10 
10 years, so we have x plus 10 equals 5 times her age 5 years ago, we have your x minus 5. Or, we can use this mathematical equation. Simplifying this one, we have x plus 10. And then, 5 times x, you have 5x. Then, 5 multiplied by negative 5, that will give you negative 5. So, our answer here is x plus 10 equals 5 multiplied by x minus 5 or x plus 10 equals 5x minus 25. Number 4. Let n be the number of 5 pesos coins Jasmine has in her coin bank. For letter A, if her friend Sonny has 10 more coins than those of Jasmine, all in 10 pesos coins represent the number of coins of Sonny. So as we all know, N is the number of 5 pesos coins of Jasmine. So we have N plus 10. So N represents just means coins and 10 represents Sony's coins. So N plus 10. Letter B. What is the value of all the 5 peso coins of just mean? So as we all know, N represents the coins. So we have here 5 N. For letter C, what is the value of all the 10 peso coins of Sony. So here we all know that Sony has n plus 10. So we have 10 multiplied by n plus 10. So this is now our value of n. Next, for number 5, let W the width of a rectangle. If the length of rectangle is 9 centimeters, less than twice its width represents the length. So here we will be using the backward method. So first, we have here 9 less than twice. So minus 2w since w represents the width of the rectangle so we have 2w minus 9 thank you for watching again this is chambrian now signing off